Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video I'm going to show you how to merge two data frames that have no column no columns in common. Okay, so I've went ahead and created some data sets here to help us explore this. And just real quick, so the objective is to merge two data frames that has no columns in common okay so let me go ahead and execute this i just created this data frame and if we look at the ot data frame and then look at the ms data frame and then look at what was the third one rs rs data frame So as you can see here, so this is the OT data frame. My objective is to merge OT data frame with RS data frame. As you can see here, this is the OT data frame. The column names here does not match any of the column names here. So let's say, so the OT um, data frame and the RS data frame doesn't have any columns in common but i want to merge them together but if you look the ms data frame right has a column called managers and the rs data frame also has a column called managers and the ot data frame has a column called money and ms data frame called has a column called money so for me to merge ot data frame for me to merge this data frame with this data frame, even though they don't have any columns in common, I have to use this data frame as the intermediary. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to merge those data frames and it's really easy. So let's call this super merge and let's do pandas. So if you don't know already, um, earlier I did import pandas as uh, speedy. So if you see PD, PD stands for pandas. We can't merge OT to RS directly, but we can merge OT to MS and then merge the result of that to RS. And in order for us to do that, this is how we do it. So we can put this in parentheses so that Python um, you know, and pandas know that this is one big operation and not like different operations. Okay, so to do that, we'll do OT in this case, OT dot merge, and in parentheses, we want to merge it with MS, and then we'll do dot merge again, and in this case, we want to merge it with RS, and if you had more data sets, you just kept doing dot merge. You know and dot merge and dot merge and the objective with this is just um and as you can see this is in sequential order so begin with this ot which is this data frame dot merge this data frame and then merge this data frame we can't do we can't go from ot and merge with rs because there's nothing in common. So we have to use this as the intermediary. So let's go ahead and execute this. And then I'll show you um, a few more things to really make this sink in. Now let's um, see the result. So as you can see, we, we were able to merge the OT data set with the RS um, data set. So now this is right here automatically doing what is called inner merge. Okay, and it's just finding the th columns that are um, common between them and it's automatically merging them. So now let's do this again. And instead of, let's do this backwards. And let's see, I think it will throw an error. See, it merge error. It says no common col columns to perform merge on. Okay, and the reason why this is happening is because we are trying to match 
merge the OT dataset with the RS dataset before going to the MS dataset. And there's nothing common between OT and RS, so it can't merge them together. So you can't even get to this. So this is the right um, operation. You do OT first, merge it with this. Now, this merge data frame has something in common with this one, then you can merge it. So I just wanted to do this and show you and uh, what happens if you don't do your merges in order. And I uh, wanted to do something else too. Let's see. What happens if we use um, outer merge because um, inner merge is the default. So what's happening here is um, that we are doing um, the first one merge, the second one, which is the intermediary data frame and then merge the third one, we want to use outer merge. So in here, and the first time it did inner merge. Inner merge is the default for pandas merge function. So in this case, we want to see what happens if we use outer. And let's execute this. And let's see what the result looks like. So um, the result um, looks very similar, except it's returned NAN wherever there's not matching values. So that's usually the difference between inner merge and outer merge. Now let's mix this up a little bit just for fun and kind of see what our results are going to look, look like. Let's make this inner and see. So when we make um, just the first one inner merge, the second one, whatever we specify for the second one doesn't really matter <laughs> that much. The result is similar to what we got in the first time. All right, um, now let's specify outer merge for the first um, merge that's happening and inner merge for the second merge that's happening. And um, let's execute this. Again, um, it's um, defaults to being an inner merge. So yeah, I just wanted to do this tutorial to show you that you can merge two data frames together that doesn't have any columns in common as long as you have an intermediary um, data frame that you can use to merge them together. So I hope you really like this tutorial. If you want to get access to this Python notebook that I used in this tutorial, just head over to machinelearningeducation.com. So over at machinelearningeducation.com, I have um, different free data science resources. So if you go to machinelearningeducation.com and go to view bundle under free data science resources, um, you'll be able to be able to get access to my data science cheat sheets, data science job and career resources, my data science tutorial resources. So in here is where you'll find all my tutorial Python notebooks. So if you've watched any of my YouTube videos or seen um, any of my blog, read any of my blogs, and you're looking for the tutorial Python notebook for the YouTube videos or for the blog, um, this is where you will find it right here under data science tutorial. So this is where I put all the tutorial Python notebooks. And in the future, I'm going to be adding more res more free resources to this place. So just go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free data science resources or just go to machinelearningeducation.com and I also put the link in the description below. And if you want to learn more about pandas, merge, join anything like that just go over to evidence n.com slash pandas merge and under here and um, you find uh, my detailed blog post on the different python merge functions that you could use left on right on you know outer merge inner merge on keyword so just head over to evidence n.com slash pandas merge to read more about a uh, margin with pandas and python 
Anyway, that is it for today's video. I hope you like it. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you did not like this video and you made it all the way to the end, just give it a double thumbs down. And that will be it for today and I will talk to you again on the next video. Bye.